jealous. Maisie's not quite ready to go to sleep yet. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. A little pile. How come you're not sleeping yet? You're not so sleepy. Are you too curious about your surroundings? Oh, so cute. There's some little, little Maisie bunny. A little Maisie bunny. Was that a hiss? Was that just a superfluous hiss? And your sister on the bottom. Sorry, happened again. But look, look at the adorable kittens. <laughs> All right, I'm removing some of the cameras, so hopefully that will make it stay up. And look what look what you can't now you can't DVR the, any of this adorableness. Oh, someone's falling asleep. How adorable is that? So cute. Oh, so sleepy. So this is Maisie, Bartholomew. Trudy, the fierce. Um, I would definitely consider combining kittens if if we have a bunch of small litters. That would make things much easier, uh, depending on the situation. But I, it's definitely an option, uh, potentially. These these cats coming from the same colony are all exposed to the same stuff, so it's less of a risk that way. They've all been uh, tested. I don't know if we did a blood draw. Sky's definitely negative for feline leukemia. We haven't actually had any feline leukemia positive cats from the colony, which is really great so far. Um, it seems like it would be hard for them to survive very long out there, so maybe that's why we haven't gotten any, but... Um, otherwise, it can be risky if you, if you put different kittens with different moms, but... Um, and then there's a very tiny percentage where there's a, a conflict with uh, blood type, which makes the milk toxic to, to uh, kittens, but it's very rare for that to happen. Oh, are you going to break the internet again with your cute cuteness? So cute. Oh, what's happening? Did something touch your foot? You didn't like it? <laughs> Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I feel like I need to do like a tiny periscope. Oh, did everybody hiss at me? Was I too loud for you kittens? 
too noisy. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. If only I could, can I take a picture? Hey, brr. Up here, look up here, really up here. Hey, but you were just looking at me, you were just looking at me so that you could hiss at me. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we're gonna use that network. Oh, and I'm not gonna enter the password because it's like, Five million long. Okay, that one. We're gonna try to do this. Oops. I guess I can't. Can I flip the camera? I guess I can't really, can I? Okay. There we go. Oh, thank you. more excellent camera work on the way. Sorry, I'm just going to try to put it on a tripod. You'd think that I could figure this out before I start the broadcast. One of these, maybe one of these times. Maybe I will. Okay, there we go. And I don't, there's no way for me to look at chat now. So, I'm sorry, Periscopers. Hopefully you can see it. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. This is Maisie, this is Bartholomew, and this is Trudy. And you can watch them live 24-7 on our kitten cam at tinykittens.com slash live. They're rescue kittens. Their mummy is a feral cat. One of four feral mama cats we have here. Three are pregnant and going to have their babies anytime now. He's so cute. Oh, they're so cute. But I have them, I've stolen them from their mom to do some socializing and snuggle time and try to get them interested in smushy food, which was a big failure. And all moms and all babies will be spayed and neutered. And kittens will be adopted into loving homes. Trying to look at the chat. Looks like there's some excitement. Excitement going on over there. So cute. Oh, there's those knee. I know now I'm trapped. It doesn't matter that my knee is my knee is cramping. It doesn't matter because the kittens were here first. How do you always manage to be on the bottom of the pile, Miss Trudy? Are they kittens or bunnies?
They've all had a little taste of the mushy food, but unless I put it in their mouth, not interested. And why would they be interested? They've been getting so much good food from mummy. So you really can't blame them. Oops. Oh, so cute. So cute. Look at their little toes. Maisie, where are you going, Maisie? This is the fierce one. He's very ferocious. So if these guys had been born in the wild, then only one of them would have survived. Which is why we spay and neuter. Right, everybody? Uh oh, what's happening now? <laughs> See if I can get it. Oh, this is a good angle. There we go. That's adorable. That's pretty cute. Oh, I think maybe something's wrong with my broadcast. I see the numbers plummeting. And I'm hearing talk of lost connections. The kittens are too cute for the internet today. Sorry about that, everybody. Another failed periscope attempt. I'll try to leave, but at least maybe you can watch the playback video and it will be good. We'll try again tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. That was a quick kitten break. Oh, they're very cute. Very cute. Yeah. Oh, adorable. Now, this is Maisie, and this is Barty. In case you were curious. Look at the little toes. So, who's little? There are three toes here. <laughs> three sets of toes. Maybe I should take a video video of it. Of them being so cute. Because I can take it facing. And then I can... Yeah. Oh, you guys are going to have to move back though. Where are you going, Maisie? Where are you going? But you were being so cute. Maisie oh. had to lay here on the cool floor like your mommy did before she had her babies. Why is Maisie so adorable? Here she is. She has a very adorable special belly. Which she's not going to show you. Oh, there's 
so cute. Oh. What? Where are you going? Oh, she got captured. Trudy needs to be picked up about a hundred more times today. Oh. Oh, look at that. Who wishes they had two hands full of Trudy? A ferocious little bundle. Can you see her spots? Maisie has now, oh there she is, you can see her. She is so cute. The only way to feel better about being picked up is to get picked up. Oh, that little face is too cute. Too cute. Where are you going? <laughs> He's out. You are too adorable. Too cute. Did you make a noise? <sighs> Are you out? Oh, surprise pickup. That was very good. Surprise hover kitten. Oh, upside down time. That's pretty good. Oh, look at her. She's being so good, sort of. She was so good for a minute. Oh, and you are too adorable. Are you going to get your sister? Did you wake up now too? There's a belly. Did you just bite me? You were trying to bite your brother? There's his tail. You can bite his tail. He's trying to bite his tail. Oh, a big burp. And in case you missed the spiel before the two resets that have happened, um, I'm trying a new experiment. If you go to tinykittens.com slash impact and let us know if you've been impacted by tiny kittens, like if you have decided to volunteer or if you've donated to support your local shelter or if you've adopted a cat or done something to help a feral cat or um, you've been helped um, trying to collect some data to show um, to show that we do have an impact that radiates beyond just these kittens um, not just tiny kittens as an organization but the tiny kittens community. Um, because I think, well, for lots of reasons, because I've been wanting to do it for a while, but um, lots of reasons, but one of the important ones is that I want to make sure that I'm doing a, an effective job of raising awareness and talking about spaying and neutering and things that people can do to help and um, the only way I'm going to know that is if I ask people. Um, and if not, then obviously I need to do some things differently. And so I'm sure that, that 
I'll learn something, but I think it's also cool that everybody gets to see how they might think that they've taken a couple of small actions, but if you take a couple of small actions and then you multiply that by the number of people in our community, that actually has a huge impact. And not just locally, but everywhere. So I'm kind of excited to see to see what we come what ends up happening. Um, so thanks for anyone who has uh, filled it out already. It does say on there now um, that none of the stories will be shared uh, without permission. That's the only reason I'm asking for email address so that if we ever wanted to share something someday, um, we would definitely ask for permission first and not do it if anyone didn't want anything shared. Um, but no, no um, identifying information or last names or anything like that, nothing that uh, that you share is going to be shared except for the numbers. Um, and like, like you, if you go to tinykittens.com slash impact, um, right here, there it is. If you go there, you can see what's being done with the information. Um, but I would like to do, you know, like a kitten therapy coffee table book or something someday. And at that, so that's why I thought, you know, someday if I ever want to do something like that, maybe some of you would be willing to contribute stories, but I would never do it without anyone's permission. So uh, privacy is, your privacy will remain intact. Right, kittens? Kittens agree. The kittens have no privacy. Um, yeah, so, but you can see, you can see what's there. So, um, but I do want to make sure that we are part of the solution. And I mean, I know that, I know that we are, like, I, I know that we are, but I, I want to make sure that you know, when someone says, someone challenges us and says that maybe we're encouraging people to have kittens because the kittens are so cute. I just want to uh, see if that is actually if that is actually the case, and then you know we need to do the messaging a little bit differently. Or if that's not the case, then we're then um, that's good to know too. So I'm hoping that you guys will help. It only takes a few seconds to fill out fast and easy and then I think it's pretty cool to see I think it's pretty cool uh, we're up to 1141 cats have been adopted around the world and people in 30 countries have taken action to help cats in their communities and 170 new volunteers 66 new foster parents 782 humans have found comfort, hope, joy, and healing. I think that's cool. And 592 people have become advocates for spaying and neutering. And I've gotten a few uh, notes from people saying that they didn't check that because they already were advocates for spaying and neutering, which is perfect. Um, because that's not, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to measure like how many of you are advocates for spay and neuter because I think you probably all are just just ones that have just if you've learned uh, learned more about what why it's important and if it's made you feel like um you know raising awareness spreading the word talking to your neighbor or whatever um that's what that's what I'm hoping to find out so so far it's been pretty cool um So thanks to everyone who has who has participated in that. It is actually very useful information. And I think it's also something that you guys can be proud of those numbers because you're all such a big part of it. You guys help make these furry tail endings possible. And the other stuff you do is, it, it is definitely having a big impact.
It's pretty cool, actually. So I had no idea what to expect when I launched this. I didn't know if, like, nobody would fill it out or if, like, it would be, like, you know, ten cats have been adopted and, you know, that I'm only, like, we're only getting, we're only reaching people who already, who already understand about rescue because I, I definitely, I think part of the opportunity with the kittens is to reach people that are not super um, involved with animal rescue but who think kittens are adorable and will watch because of the kittens and then they slowly get exposed to the message about spaying and neutering and all that stuff and then sort of like become advocates. So I'm hoping that that, that, that is actually happening. That we're not just all preaching to the choir out here all the time. Although I do like the choir. So tinykittens.com slash impact. You are too adorable. You guys are so cute. <laughs> I should have added an option for stopping crime. Prevented you from getting into trouble late at night. <laughs> mm. Yes, the longer the longer kitten watch continues, the more the less sleep I have, and then the more um, slap happy I become with the hashtags. So we'll just watch out. It's only going to get worse from here. Sadly, is Sky still in the sink? Let's see. Oh, oh, she's so cute. Oh yeah, and don't don't forget to check out the um, new sky video that I posted on Facebook. I will be uploading it to Tiny Kittens YouTube. I was having a little issue with the music. Oh, let's look at these adorable little specimens. Sky is being very adorable. She still looks too comfortable, I think. Too comfortable to be having babies like tonight. but you never know. And Sabina. Oh. oh. Sabina is out of her nest. Mm, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Sky. Hello. Oh, she's so cute. These are some adorable, adorable kittens. Savina is on her Karanda Tower shelf at the moment. The, the Karanda of Denial. Oh, a little loaf. Oh, a little loaf. That was a little squeak. That was not really a hiss. It was kind of more of a little chirp. You're so cute. So anyway, um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, oh, like, do you like that? That's adorable. Oh, are you so cute? <laughs> Where's that paw going? Oh, okay, I'll reset VIP. Yes. What are the odds I can at least flip your blanket over when I go in there? Oh, look at that. That's adorable. Where's my camera? 
No, you're gonna move as soon as I get it. And of course, there's a terrible light comes from that angle. Why do you girls always do the cutest thing when no one can see it? I want you to move. Oops, whoa. Oh, so cute. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, I think that's it. So I'm going to um, see about leaving them out here for a bit. I don't know. How long have they been out? So cute. Okay, so I'm going to maybe leave them out for a bit. Let's see if they take advantage of their freedom. There's a basket. Where's your chicken whale? <laughs> Maisie is out. Here, you guys should try this. It's pretty comfy. Oh, it's been amazing will I get. <laughs> oh, I know, this is good for you. Picked up. Picked up. And look how comfy it is. Okay. You're too cute. Let's see. I'm going to put the sound off because I might do a little organizing and it might be a bit clunky. <sighs> okay. Oh, I got some fine ointment on there. Okay. 